Hello everyone, welcome back to Darkside Racing's Top Field Tutorials with me, Nitro Nick. It's going to be a little bit of a different video today. I'm going to be showing you actually what these parts I've been talking about, so the fuel pump and the barrel valve look like on the car. I'll go through a little bit of the system. Next video is going to be about the clutch because I have quite a serious topic coming in, a lot of information about our enrichment and our lean-out systems. So it's going to be a couple weeks before we get back to it, but another video about the fuel system is coming, so get ready for that. So let's take a look at the car. Here we got our top fuel dragster. Now, as you can see, these are long vehicles. Now, the fuel tank's up at the front underneath a bunch of uh, stuff there. We have a fuel line that runs through the body underneath the driver's seat. You can see that little box in compartment right here. It'll go across along the side and you can see here's the line. We got a double hose clamps on each side and our rubber joints. Now the reason for the rubber joints is that it helps mitigate any sort of vibration and flexing, preventing any sort of stress crack or fatigue crack from forming. Now, those lines go up to, there's our fuel pump, you can remember that discussion. Double hose clamps with the rubber fitting again. There's the body connected in the snout, connected to the front of the motor, right where that cam is. See that direct drive? You can see we got our fuel shutoffs with our fuel linkage. We got here, now we have these capped off because when we're doing work on the car, we generally do not have our main fuel lines connected. We'll talk about that in a moment. And you see over here, we got our idle returns. So when the shutoffs are in the off position, the fuel will go back through here and down back to the fuel line. Now underneath here, you see those extra pieces I was telling you, the ones below the shutoffs for our fuel management system. Well, here's one way of doing it right here. This is called an all valve. Now, I'll be discussing this in the later topic where I go on about the all valves, the slide valves, the BDKs, and the enrichment valves. All of those are done with that one piece of equipment right there. But it's not the only way of doing it. As I stated earlier, it's just, it simplifies a complex system. Going back to, these are the main fuel lines that go from the top of the fuel pump all the way up here. Now we do have them clear the belt. They go up to the front of our barrel valve. So as you can see, we got our two idle returns going down to our, you guys remember what these are, the check valves. Back to the fuel returns. There's a simple way of putting it all back to the main line. Now, I said this was the main line that goes to the actual motor. Well, here she is. Now, the reason I'm holding it is we just did a bit of tweaking with our spacer here for our hat. We've moved the hat up another inch and forward about another inch and a bit. Now, this line could reach, but I would be pulling and forcing at it. Remember what I spoke about? Make sure all your lines have a little bit of slack. See, they have plenty of flex and movement in them. This is what you want. So main line goes here and here. We have our flow meter. I remember why I said we have a little meter under here to tell us how much fuel is in the barrel valve. We got a little meter here telling us how much fuel is flowing through the line. That line goes to it's back here, we call a rear distribution block. Now, this block sends fuel up to the hat, and I'll show you in a minute. Sends fuel out these four lines on each side to what we call the port lines. And then down these big lines here to what we call the down lines. So as you can see, per cylinder has two nozzles. We choose to use one nozzle for the port lines 
But, as you can tell down here, there are spots to put two more in there. We can space them out. A lot of pro teams with bigger pumps use two lines for their port lines because they want more fuel in their motor. That's why you put a bigger pump in. Now, as I was saying, we got our line up here going to the rear distribution block. We got three lines coming out here to the side. There's three lines that come out here to that side. And there's four here that go to get that out of the way. The rear of the blower. See, we got one here, one here. These cool the blower down. Because there's no other way to cool the blower down. At the back half, because fuel doesn't actually quite get back there and prevents it literally from melting. That's a common problem. So these lines up here don't have any of those check valves. For us, these lines here have check valves and these lines here have check valves. Now, again, this all varies depending on what sort of tune-up you're running. But for us, it's what we go with. And I think that pretty much sums it up for taking a look at the actual fuel line on our car. Now I will show you a little teaser about the slide valve and the BDK we have on our spare car in the back there. And I'll talk a little bit about those before we wrap up this probably shorter video than most. All right, and here we have a slide valve and a BDK. Now this is just a solenoid that works in conjunction with the BDK. And I plan on discussing these things in greater detail because there's a lot of information that goes with them. To summarize it, the way the slide valve works is during the run, it closes this line here, a fuel bypass, and essentially shuts off the ability for excess fuel to not go to the motor. So by shutting that off, more PSI is going into those lines, feeding the motor more fuel. You adjust it with a bunch of timers and technical systems, but that essentially helps with the fuel management during the run. So thank you guys. I know this is a different type of video than what I have done so far, and let me know if you like it. I figured doing a walkthrough of seeing what it looks like on an actual car might help put things into perspective for new people into the sport. If you want more of these videos, I'll make sure to add them after I talk about a topic. And, well, I guess a little teaser on the next topic. Let me talk about the clutch. And, well, here she is. I got everything ready for you guys to talk about the reverser, the cannon, the flywheel, even what the clutch discs are. I'll even show you what one looks like on our car. Take care, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm really enjoying putting these videos out, and hopefully you guys are enjoying watching them, getting a bit of information out of this. And please comment, tell us if you have any questions, if you want to see more. Again, I'd really like that feedback on this type of video. Have a good day.